Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. First week in May. Manifest big loves. This week we do have at the end a new moon in Taurus. Another fixed zodiac sign. So Taurus, speaking of, we have also the Venus that is in Taurus. Venus speaks about love, expansion, growth, and abundance. Let's see, darlings. What will surprise you pleasantly this week? Many of you have been asking for something positive, what you can look up to this week. So here we are. Let's hear what pleasantly will surprise my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. A conversation who you are talking here to because we have Queen of Swords. We have the world. There's something here like you telling yourself, this is it, no more. We got to change the way we've done the things till this moment. For some of you, you, you are changing your strategy of how you work on the things or how you put in an effort or you, you're not going to work over time or something like that. It's kind of you definitely will... Uh, will do better from now on nine of wands yeah you are giving a chance to a new way of putting in effort doesn't feel here you are gonna stick with it but at least you're gonna try but i see you very determined right away but somebody here must say like yeah yeah try let's try let's see how how long you can stick with that Let's see if you're going to stick. Let's see. Nine of Cups. Some of you, you are used to one, um, one type of uh, way. But now it's time for you to change or move away from that. Let's see. Nine of Cups, the Emperor, Wheel of Fortune. Three of Wands, Fool. You see here, the Emperor and the Fool are very opposite energies. There's so many major arcanas here with the strength. For some of you, you might even change the mindset. If you hope certain things, you got to get out of your comfort zone, loves. You don't need to be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Because that reflects also on your work and other things. So definitely is the need of a change. Are you going to stick with it? I feel here you give it a try. And this week is just the beginning. It's kind of you look for the long term if you can stick here. For some of you, let's say you, you want to change your exercise or what you do regards your exercises. Even though you are love running or you always used to learn run but now you change to weights doesn't feel here it's quite comfortable but you definitely hope for a change will you stick yes i feel here you want to stick with it but i feel here it's a major change for some of you you want to change your way putting in effort into whatever you do but i feel here this change is kind of scares you how how and which way will affect you let's see because something here like you are you genuinely into or not but definitely will surprise you this beginning it's like i can't believe i i i start doing this actually let's see the the full energy here before we we clarify the moon but let's see yeah I can't believe I just started this. It's kind of you, you don't believe it or you're not sure if you stick because it's a whole different layout. This will change all the things around it with the tower. But Spear says you, you don't see the effects yet and how this will lead you 
to um, a better you, a different, different you. What are you doing, darlings? Because something here definitely is like stick. If you stick with the whatever here you start now, a month. If you stick a month with it, then you are all set. But this is a big change in the way you do certain things. And if you've been very anxious or very nervous or very it's hyperactive in certain things, you'll be much chill. If you could not have a good sleep, whatever here is is changing what you're doing, what you're starting now, you'll be much chill, much more peaceful. And things will go much much better or in a much different way than they they used to. So something here you postpone working on on doing here. I'm feeling here your your psychic or your your thoughts or your mind because I feel here this is also something here about internal you could be your mindset for some of you you could go to therapy and your therapist used to tell you constantly try this try this and you were just kind of why should I try this if this works somehow or I still kind of work it but now you are gonna give it a chance and you you could not expect because it's like I do, I didn't see how much I could love this or how big effect can have on me or how much I will um, enjoy it actually okay why you've been afraid of or why you could not do it till now because you thought it's uh, it's not really important or it's way way small for you or something here like you feel like you you were not ready or you were searching for other ways for some of you you feel like I have other options or better options there but now here you are the the death energy here queen of pentacles is actually actually whatever here you're afraid to start doing <laughs> is actually working it's kind of sometimes the queen of pentacles speaks about the sacrifice it's like worth the change and the feeling is beautiful the feeling is really really beautiful here let's see one more card next to the death I feel here you whatever here you didn't want to start you actually will start enjoying so this is about a balance or bringing balance for whatever reason this balance or work on the balance yes it's kind of balancing the things out with them um, this is also about your confidence it's kind of bringing the best of you out and I feel here the universe really helps you for some of you if you want to grow financially or have a startup in some kind of way you felt this is a piece of cake or something bad or but I feel here this is actually good for some of you this is about having a job and doing your own job or having a job and then work on some kind of startup or some kind of uh, gigs on your own definitely it's new to you but the beginning and give it a month I feel here it's kind of giving a month you will see you'll be pleasantly um, surprised that actually works and actually you enjoy it the feeling of having it or doing this will be worth a million so give it a month loss what advice we have for you
we have the hermit. The hermit is that deep thinker. Because sometimes what the fool bringing you, it's something that you don't believe. But now you are going to look deeper into these things. Like actually certain things can, small things or silly things, or what sounds silly, that makes me happy. So this is about the, the gift. The gift that we can see in the dark, but we can see in the light. Or the gift that we realize in the dark to the light. The gift of one day. The gift of starting. The gift of new beginning. And not waiting. This is something here about the, the first step. Yes, and this is kind of the beginning of happiness and realizing what really matters, what really matters to you, what really is there for you. So whatever here is giving to you the universe loves this week, it's a big gift. And the gift is about the, the first step and the trust and the movement. Whatever that trust and movement is. And sometimes when we know, when we feel we know it all, we actually don't know much. Whatever feel it's hard actually is very much easy or comes in a very easy way. The only 10 missing here for you is 10 of wands. And ten of wands, many times we hear as a burden or as th something here that feels will be very hard to do. Which at the end of the day, it's, it's much easier than we think. And that's why it's about the, um, the consideration of doing something that we never could do or Sometimes we have so big expectations and we we probably don't have the belief. But the Nine of Pentacles is like believe in the change. Believe in the movement. Believe you can do it. There's something here about believing in yourself. And the success, there's some kind of success. Again, there's something here you don't give a, a penny or you don't give a, a much. But actually will turn out to be a very, very successful outcome. Could it be even financially for some of you? I'm looking for the, the Ten of Wands. Whew. I was like, what's the card I was looking? The Ten of Wands. Where's the Ten of Wands here? Because something here, what feels heavy, might not be as heavy. Oh, here it is. And whoo, <laughs> the Ten of Wands is right here, Two of Swords. This is about opening up for the things, even though things are not set in stone. Okay? And don't wait. It's kind of waiting might not give you that energy. This is about the movement. Don't wait. Don't wait. And yeah, Aquarius, that's what I got for you, darlings. I hope this resonates. I hope this speaks to you. If it does, let us know. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye for now.